<laughs> what is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's live unboxing, we're gonna be unboxing the Van Powers Urban Glide. There's three different models. Not 100% sure which model they sent me. But before we get started, if you guys do wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for uh, Van Powers. If Van Powers isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So what's up? We haven't been live in a little bit. I want to say hi to everybody that's here and everybody say hi to Dee Dee. She's going to be helping me for the rest of this stream. Oh, we got a bunch of people in the chat. Uh, Baby Gravy said hey. What's up, Baby Gravy? How's it going? Don't forget, guys, we got a lot of unboxings to do soon, too. And we got a lot of videos coming out. Bubba Shitty, 103 in East Bay, California. Ooh, that's a hot one. It's been humid here. It's been like in the 90s and humid, and the mosquitoes are brutal right now. It's going to be 94. That's going to be a hot one. Oh, I don't have my, uh... Oh, your mic? You might be sitting on the mic. <laughs> Hold on. All oh, right here. There you go. I Scoot, Connecticut. What's up, I Scoot? Robert from Hartford, Connecticut here. What's up? Oh, uh, we have a, a Shredhead member, Bulletproof. What's hey, up, everybody? Bulletproof? And, uh, yeah, special shout-out to all the Shredhead members. And if you're a Shredhead member and you're here, what is up? Big shout-out to you. Um, if you guys do want to become a Shredhead member, which... I'm gonna be posting the P51 review uh, about a day or two early for the Shredhead members. So you get videos two to three days earlier. Sometimes you get a cool little Shredhead next to your uh, name and then your name's like highlighted. And um, if you guys want me to do more tiers, I, I haven't had too many uh, people hit me up to let me know what kind of stuff they want in the higher tiers, but definitely feel free to comment that down below. Matt the Mechanic, what's up Shreddy? What up Matt the Mechanic? How's that new job, bro? And I think my friend Courtney is in here. If she is here, hi Courtney, Ava, and Waverly. Or Wavy, I think she's, they call her Wavy. Yair Sosa, what's up guys? What's up Yair, how you doing brother? What's up everybody? Robbie Timms, it was like 30 Celsius here. No idea what that is What does that mean? And raining at the same time, it was brutal. <laughs> it sounds cold, but what I'm not sure. What does this mean? <laughs> Where are you at Robbie Timms? How hot is 30 Celsius? Oh, we have another Shredhead member, Scarecrow, hello. 86 degrees is 30 Celsius. Hold on, who'd you say, who, who, who? Another Shredhead member, Scarecrow. Is oh, the there chat. he is, what up, Scarecrow? I'm just getting it started, just getting it started. Still saying hi to everybody, and oh, losing my water bottle, totally, totally gone. Math the Mechanic said, Ting Tong Motor tomorrow. Ooh, that sounds hilarious. And <laughs> what is a Ting Tong Motor? It sounds like a like a cartoon motor or something. Like, bing, bong, bing, bing. Robbie Tim said, "I'm near Toronto." Word up! Am I ever going to Toronto? I would love to go to Toronto. Is Toronto near Canada or? It is Canada. Wales? Toronto, Canada. <laughs> I mean, I mean, is it on the west coast or east coast? I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's in America now. We're taking it. We're taking it over. <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking of, am I thinking of Vancouver is by Seattle and Toronto is above New York? Am I right? I don't know. And if you guys uh, have been hanging out and watching recently, we put out like two videos, two days in a row. We did, uh, what do we do? Some kind of group ride. And then we did kind of like a legal versus illegal. D came on that group ride with us. So if you haven't watched that, you can get to see D on the zoos. I think she's on the 1100. And Chris was with us. Shav's last ride. It was definitely a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So this is gonna be more of like a fun cruising style e-bike. Be nice to have around the beach. Nice step through model too, which is gonna be super awesome to get on and off very easily. Dee's laughing, what is, what has uh, been said? Ice Cube Connecticut said no staples. No staples, and that made me very happy. There, there are staples on the bottom of the box, but man, this is the part that I usually hate, like going like this when there are staples and they like stick to your leg and all that fun stuff. Uh, Robbie Timms, it's immediately north of New York. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Math the mechanic, the bottom of the box looks like little pizzas. Does it? I don't even know. <laughs> it sure does. I love pizza. Pizza's good. You guys want me to go over there so you can see what's in the box? Oh, I can, I can kind of show you what oh, it looks yeah. like boxed up. That way you don't have to move too much. I just broke my back. Ugh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, and guys, I've been working on wheelies on, I think I, I pretty much have wheelies on three different bikes that I own now. I'll, pro I'll probably get wheelies on this thing too, I'm telling you. 
I've been I've been just practicing wheelies on every everything. Wait till you guys see the wheelies I bust on the uh, on the P51. Definitely gonna be fun. Paul Christensen, I live Whitby, Ontario, Canada, and grew up Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I've never been outside of the country ever. Bulletproofs that it looks like Doritos on the bottom of the box. <laughs> oh, that one hit the guitar. Bong. All right, maybe I'm gonna lay this down and kind of just put, oh, they, I didn't even know what color they sent me, D. D, you're gonna love this color. You, you'll Can never guess. Can we come guess. and see it? Can we come You'll and never see guess. It? Let, me, let me lay it down and I'll pull it out. Is it hot pink? Guess what color it is. We got one of four different colors of this bike. Hot pink. Um, hold on, let me show you a picture of all the different colors. If you, can, if you guys can guess the color, I'll tell you which one it is. All right, oops. Get over there. I wish we had like, I could cast to the, a TV behind me. That way you guys could see better. All right, which one of these colors is it? One, two, one, two, three, four, one of those four Drop colors. Drop your guess in the chat, guys. Is it green, red, blue, or gray? What's up, Evan? Another Shredder member, Evan Frouge. Hey, Shredder and D. Just saw him pop in, just hey, saw him Evan. pop in. Anybody Matt, guess what color it is? Matt guessed green, Blue Nose guessed blue. Okay. Gibdo, hey, Shreddy. What's my, up, Gibdo? My stomach hurt. <laughs> What is that? I'm my stummy hurt. Oh, his tummy hurt? ISU hurts? Connecticut what? Red, Evan Fruge, Shredhead member, dang, autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Tim's Blue, Anaconda Hugs. Hey, He's what's up, Anaconda? Uh, Baba Shitty Green, Matt's Mechanic, I can see the handle. Pretty solid. I don't even see a handle, Matt. All right, I'm going to tilt it. <laughs> the Scarecrow Shredhead member said green. Yep, you're right. If you say green, if you say <gasps> green. Ooh. You were right. It's like a lime green. Oh, I've never had a bicycle this crazy oh, color. I'm excited. I'm going to try to scoot this back a little bit so I can scoot it forward. Knock, knock over my racing rig. <laughs> Can't wait to see it pulled out. All right. Oh, everyone's excited oh, to see man. the green. How many times have I done this, guys? <laughs> and, oh, guys, can you guys comment down below? Do you think today's video is going to be a struggle with Shreddy or... Or do I know how to put these bikes together by now? Like, come on, man. Come on, Shreddy. <laughs> man, we got so much fun stuff going on. Got the, I'm going to shoot this review tomorrow. We got some unboxings to do. Uh, I think, what are we going to do them next week? We got some Segway products here. Uh, if you guys watched my story on um, Instagram, you saw that I got a, an electric go-kart. So can you guys help me figure out where I could drive this electric go-kart for my review? Because D keeps on thinking I'm going to get like pulled over by the cops. Because um, I said I'm just going to take it like on the street and still kind of ride it around on the trails and stuff. But I don't know. I think <laughs> for the review on the go-kart, it'd be kind of cool to take it out like to lunch, like drive it out to lunch somewhere. <laughs> and hope we don't get arrested. Or could I do like go through a drive through with it? It's like so low to the ground. <laughs> Dude, this color is awesome. It almost feels like it's like, like an iridescent-ish, like an, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like an iridescent looking green. I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Dee? Doesn't that look crazy? It looks like a crazy I like, love it. It looks like crazy it's gonna glow shining. in the dark. Yeah, that's what it looks green. like. Crazy. Uh, bulletproof said it's definitely going to be a struggle. Matt Mechanic, <laughs> my senses are heightened right now. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for the love. Thanks for the love, guys. What the, the heck? Scarecrow said you will be seen well with that color. That's oh, so yeah. true. Oh, that's, yeah. That's definitely a good thing. Oh, it'll match my green rider bag. I should, I'll wear the green rider bag with the review on this. It's a great color for visibility. Ooh. Yair Sosa, you always make it hard fun. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the struggle is more, are you guys more excited to watch the struggle or let, or watch me like successfully go through an <laughs> install and, and unboxing and assembly? Successfully like, come out of the struggle. Yeah. I ask you Connecticut, you cannot drive the electric go-kart anywhere in Delaware. You should just ship it to me. <laughs> I'm like, what? Is it like illegal? Nah. Baba Shitty Neon Green. I ask you Connecticut, that's what she said. <laughs> And then Carla Brooks said, I just discovered my bike doing 35 miles an hour session. 
It what? is, so it goes up to 45 mound, four plus five. Nice. Am I saying that all right? Did you guys see D rode the zoos and she said something about it, it hurt it, something about your butt, like it hurt your butt so bad. <laughs> I knew people were gonna troll her on that. Yeah. yeah like it was, it was banging my butt. Felt like I got banged hard in the butt. But yeah. they're coming out with a suspension version. Yeah, actually it's coming tomorrow. That's another thing, yeah. Zeus Ultra Flex. Flex. Ultra Flex is coming tomorrow. Oh, I made it in the box. Perfect. Bulletproof said the go kart is only illegal if they catch you. I scoot. What size are those tires? These. Hold on one second. Let me try to get this little plastic guy out of there. Looks like you're doing surgery. The struggle has already happened. <laughs> I got something in, stuck in there that I don't want stuck in there. What is it? It's like a little piece of plastic, but I think once I get, uh, hold on. once it, I find it, we'll get to that point, guys. I'm just gonna keep unboxing and clipping everything. You just said riding everything. my bike makes me feel Bebo. Feel what? <laughs> <laughs> Bebo? Bebo. Oh, li alive. Makes him feel alive. Robbie said, pop it out with a quick release skewer. That's what I was looking for, the quick release guy. Yo, that's the first time that's ever happened though. Like, uh, I pulled that little, plastic thing that went perfectly in the box when I threw it um, off and it did get stuck in there, but yeah. Ice Scoot, we'll check what size tires they are in one second. I think this is a 14.4 amp hour battery in here. <laughs> That's aw Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just heard the, the tail end of that. These are definitely Kendas. Huh. 27 by 5 by 2.2.0. 2.20, sorry. But can we see it up close? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They look like nice tires. Can we see? Oh, yeah, it's really close. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm driving a pirate ship. Can you also do a review of the thing behind you? <laughs> That's for uh, Gran Turismo 7. I have the PlayStation VR. I haven't had much time to actually play any video games. Me, Dee and I have been just working nonstop. And actually, I am going to be a, a judge for an e-bike competition next weekend at the Electrify Expo. So. If you're in DC for the Electrify Expo, I'm gonna be walking around there. Feel free to come up to me and say, what's up? Dee will be with me also, and I'm gonna be walking around uh, with Mike Feedy too. So feel free, come up to us, say what's up, come hang out. And there's supposed to be like a group ride on Friday night. I'm gonna to try to make it to that, um, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna get an e-bike because we only have a car. Were you gonna say something, Dee? <laughs> Oh, and also make sure you guys are following Shreddy's social medias, like his Instagram, um, because he may have tickets to the Electrify Expo discounted or maybe even free. So mm -hmm. follow along and he's Shreddy McSkate on Instagram, TikTok, and follow along on YouTube as well. Those fender, this fender is metal. I thought it was going to be plastic. It's nice. It's nice. I'm, I was like, if you guys just saw me looking around, I totally don't know where I put my water bottle. So if you guys see a green... It rolled under the table. No, I think I grabbed it. Oh, it's on top of the table. Oh, <laughs> it's camouflage. I can't see. Can't see, dude. Bulletproof said, need to throw some white wall tires on it. That would be pretty cool with the, with the green. That'd be dope. Carla Brooks, my friend said top speed 55 miles an hour on five assist. I'm going to try it with full gear on. I have a need for speed, girl power. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people that love going fast, 55. man. Five. Man, the mechanic, he's one of the ones. He's got the need for speed. That dude. You guys like are adrenaline junkies. That's what it is. I just like enough power to pop it up and just ride it. <laughs> pop I, it up. I Scoot said, did you guys like the Grace Sharer video? What's that? And then he said, where's the cat? Oh, I miss the cat. We had a little doggy here hanging out yesterday. I kind of wish yeah. we had today for the stream. French Bulldog. We were just babysitting the cat for my brother. My mom brought him. That's my homie Sushi. That cat is so cool. 
dude, I'm like going all around this thing, just like pulling stuff like, and then going back over here, like not focusing on just one area. <laughs> Give who said, gee, if I reactivate my Facebook account, will you accept my friend request? Who? Friend me on um, Instagram, you guys. Yeah, these, what's what's your... I'm D Shreds, but I'm also like Deanna Fifi. You can friend either one or both. Yeah. And if I don't see it, just like send me a message because there's like a whole thing of like all these people that I didn't even know like friend requests to me, but most of them are spam, so. Yeah, and a lot of times like on Instagram, sometimes like messages get sent to like uh, some kind of filter thing where you don't see it unless you search that place. Yeah. Robbie Timms, that green looks like it would be in a Fruitopia commercial in yeah. 2001, and I love it. It does. It does. Oh, it's, it's a crazy so... looking green. Oh, I it's like it. citron green. It's really shiny. Yeah. Hold on. I got to get a closer look. Very, it looks so good. Very cool. Oh, I'm wow. Look over. at the power button for the, for the battery. Or is that just... You guys, a... the green looks way better in person. It's like more of a citron, yellower green in person, and it's oh, wow. really shiny. Charging it's almost port. like... Really nice. The quality is actually really nice. Yeah, the paint job is amazing. It looks like a car, like so shiny. So this is the one with the hub motor. They do have a version with a mid drive too, which is pretty cool. I'll go through all the specs. They sent me all the specs of the different ones they have. Um, front fork suspension. That's freaking cool. All right. Stand it up. Onto the fork. Evan Frouge, old school Nick Nickelodeon slime color. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, I miss Nickelodeon. The old school Nickelodeon with double dare. Heck yeah. All right, let me make sure. Okay, so these are not hydraulic disc brakes. They're mechanical, mechanical disc brakes. I'm gonna Death keep Rock taking said, everything Good off. evening, everyone here in Las Vegas. What up, Las Vegas? Is Shaw still in Vegas or he just left? I think he, he just, just left. left. Where's everyone from? Comment where you're from. We're in Lewis Beach, Delaware. Uh, Gibdo, that color looks like mountain. It does. Joe. It looks cool. Oh, Mountain Dew. <laughs> it does, bro. <laughs> this would totally work in a Mountain Dew commercial. Yair Sosa, what happened to the P51? Oh, that review's coming out very soon. And if you're a Shredhead member, uh, you should be able to see it probably by tomorrow. I'm gonna upload it tonight. If I can get it fully uploaded, um, I'll just release it for the Shredhead members. If you're interested in becoming a Shredhead member, I think the link is down below. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash Shreddy Mix Skate forward slash join. But otherwise it will be premiering later this week. Yep. And then I'm gonna go out tomorrow to shoot this review. And then, I don't know what else in there. We got, we got a lot of in dens. I just saw, um, he just showed me the P51 video today and it's awesome. It's so good. Oh yeah, the Zoo's uh, Ultra Flex is coming tomorrow. So we'll have that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do an, an unboxing or if that's coming fully assembled, but I'm not gonna get to keep that model. He's gonna send me another uh, bike once they have uh, stock in so I can do a more thorough and full review and do some range tests on it and everything. Blue Nose said he's from Liverpool, U United Kingdom. That's so cool. That's the, uh, hold on, did I search this box thoroughly? Hold on. <laughs> he's missing Just in case, because I didn't see any tools. There we go. <laughs> I was like, where's the pedals, the, the battery charger? <laughs> Good thing I don't have a, um, a cardboard crusher because I would have thrown that whole box in there right away. <laughs> then I would have I been out of a battery charger. Show us what's in the box. Can you get in front of the box? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'll get, we'll, we'll get into our unboxing stance. If you guys know me, I, I do a lot of, I sit like this in chairs or like I sit on my legs like this on chairs. and So this is normal for me. Don't worry about me. So you guys can see. It says Van Powers and has little nachos or pizzas or whatever you guys want them to be. <laughs> oh, tools! And the little, there we go. Nice. Holy freaking crap. So th this does, this bike does have an app you can connect to and get all types of information. But dude, look at this user, man. Dude, dude. 
<laughs> it might be like different languages. Maybe it better be different. like every language. All the languages. Hold on. There you go. Did it come with the CD too? Oh no. Fan Powers app. So here's the manual just for the app. And he's just not reading it, guys. <laughs> it, well, I'm just unboxing it. <laughs> okay, cool. Would be cool if we could unlock the bike to go like 50 miles an hour, but no, I'm just kidding. I doubt it. Here's, here's the, the rest of the instructions. We got a lot. We got a lot. It's nice. nice. You guys know what we do, what I do. You should, you guys, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. You guys should, um, you know, always read the instruction manuals. And when you're done building your bikes, always check your nuts. So, shreddy, if I need it, I'll get it, okay? Oh, we have some breaking news. Someone just commented. What happened? <laughs> breaking Rad said, Shreddy, did you hear the news? Van Moof put a pause on selling new bikes and Rad shut down European operations. No, Big I did not hear that. e-bike news day. Oh, wow. I'll have to look into that and see what's going on. Okay, so just know there is two little screws in there that comes with the display, so be careful not to lose that. I'm actually... So like a little, yeah, I'm gonna set it back in there just for now. So that's a display. What do we got here? Like a little headlight or a tail light or something? Oh, it's a headlight with a reflector on it also. Cool. Hold up, that's kind of crazy. How does that work like this, I guess? Little headlight. So I'm sure if you, damn, that thing looks like it might be pretty bright, but I'm sure if you find another light with that connector, you could probably hook it up. Pretty simple. All right, what else? What else? We got keys. Okay, keep that there. We got a notification bell. Awesome. And our pedals. And I'm guessing it's a two amp charger is my guess. What do you guys think? Two amp charger? Four amp charger? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Well, let's see, let's see. It is a three amp charger, let's go. There we go. Oh, we also have something crazy coming uh, next month and it's gonna be a cool green color too. But I'll keep that a secret, shh. Okay, three amp charger, ready to go. It's green, I'll put the um, display on there last. Or the fender, one of the two, we'll see. All right. Any questions, guys? Any questions, comments? You guys have any questions about any other e-bikes, any videos, any videos you've seen, anything we've done, anything you want me to do? I Group rides. It said, step through bikes are great. My step through is my favorite bike. They're definitely comfortable, easy to get on and off of. <sighs> Definitely easy for not only men, but women and shorter riders. Yeah, it's pretty much like unisex all around. All around. All around. All right, so I'm going to get handlebar on first. Flip the bike. Actually, should I do handlebar, fender, flip bike, wheel? How's that sound, guys? Handlebar, fender, flip bike, wheel, stuff, things. Accessories, all that stuff. <laughs> you got shook, just said. Uh, no question, just my daily thanks for doing all those Aerial Rider Grizzly videos. My wife and I love it. We go places we couldn't see before. That's awesome, hell yeah. I definitely have lots of fun on the Grizzly. I have some plans for, for a Grizzly video this summer. Um, I, I don't want to tell you guys because I don't want anybody to steal my idea. It's, it's, a, it's a cool idea. And the name's gonna be funny too. I'm gonna tighten that up that a little bit. Uh, you got shook said thanks for your videos. They've helped us make that decision. I appreciate you watching, brother. And you guys, remember you can also show support by becoming a Shredheads member or using, if you like a bike, checking out his affiliate links and discount links for the bikes in his video's descriptions. Let's see, we have some more comments. So, okay, so let's see where people are from. Blue Nose is from Liverpool, UK. Uh, let's see, we have... 
going down. I might have to go grab some tools because to tighten up this, I feel like I think you need two of the same size. They kind of hold one side to tighten it up. So let me come right back with another set of Allen keys. It'll be like two seconds. I already have them already out. Sorry if I, I just heard like a question, but I didn't hear it really hear it. <laughs> out in the garage. Okay, here we go. Let's hope it's one of these or one of these. All right. Ooh, it's humid. It's humid out there. All right, you're back. I'm back. Sorry guys, didn't mean to leave. Okay, and then we have Carla from Sherman Oaks, California, hey, where it's Carla? 91 degrees. Oh, that's a hot one. But you guys don't have like the crazy humidity, right? Maybe when it's 91, they do. Yeah, is it humid there right now? There we go. Evan Farouge, just noticed you're wearing the P51 shirt. Ooh. Ultima, hey gang, just got back from a ride. What up, Ultima? Give those shout out to all my homies from South Saskatoon. Evan Farouche is from Lake Charles, Louisiana over here. What up? Breaking red. Oh, I said that. Give those said, what do we have for dinner tonight? <laughs> what did we have? We had some steak. Well, let's see. We have a, a member. You got shook. Welcome to the Shredhead. What's up? You got shook became a new Oh, Shredhead thank member. you for joining. I'm going to have to add you to the next video. I'm sorry. The uh, P51 review is done. So I'm, uh, hold on. Did I do this right? He adds uh, the Shredhead member's names to the end of the video. Yeah, I did this right. Yeah. End of his videos. Yep, yep. So he'll be on the next one after the P51 for sure. All right, all right, all right. I think that's tight. This is if stuck. If you guys want me to zoom in, just let me know. Sorry for zooming in so fast just then. Zzz, zzz. All right, let's go in these. Getting the handlebars on. Uh, what else did I say? I forget. I'm let already lost, closer. guys. It's like almost a struggle with Shreddy. It's almost a struggle. Because I partially stripped this, uh, this side. Let's hope it's okay. So for dinner tonight, we had... We had... Salad. A beet salad. A beet salad. salad. Mm -hmm. That was good. Very good. And steak and um, <laughs> broccoli rob. And I think they were french fries, too. It was good for you. wanted some salmon, but we have to go to the grocery store. That's my little Irish coming out. It's good for you. Yes, Carla said there's no humidity in California. That's Ooh. nice. There we go. There we go. Okay. Evan Fruge, do you still have a code for the Rev 1? One of my neighbors is wanting oh, to man. order one. Unfortunately, no. It was only 50 codes that they gave us, and I don't think they're doing any more discount uh, but, codes like that. But he still does have an affiliate link if you wanted to support the channel that he can give you. That is true, and it is down in the description. It should box. be in this video's description if you want to check for it. Actually, I don't know if it was added to all... Yeah, see if it's in the video's description. Otherwise, we'll add it right after yeah, the video. Oh, did I not put the links down there? Or if you search his Ride Whoopsie. One Up video, it should be under that as well. Oh, yeah. So a lot of companies have been using this new, like, style, or I don't think it's new, but this style of uh, thumb throttle. I really, I really like the feel of those. That's pretty cool. Stoked on that. Stoked. I don't know why I have that let's give them something to talk about song stuck in my head. Robert Kovacs, <laughs> thanks for the membership. Another Shredhead's Oh, member. heck yeah. Thank you so much for joining. And stay tuned. The P51 review is going to be dropping either late tonight or tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that. And then for the rest of the subscribers, it'll be out very soon. Maybe Sunday. Sunday seemed to be like a good day to release the videos. Ice Goo Connecticut said, Breaking Rad, look at these Sparks Like Orcs Bandit. Check out Shreddy's uh, code for that as well. Yep. And videos for the Sparks Like Orcs Bandit. I got reviews, I got rides. He has a discount code for that. Is it code Shreddy for the Sparks Like Orcs? He's code Shreddy, and I think it's like 100 bucks off, or it might be 150 right now. Robbie Tim said, Van Powers implies the existence of compact SUV powers and sedan powers. Re say that again? They, they do what? Van powers implies the existence of compact SUV powers and sedan powers. Did I just hit the front brake? 
a good dummy? I did. Why, what's that do? It closes the caliper and hopefully it has a little caliper thingy in it. A little spacer guy in there. If not, I have to open it up, which I don't mind doing. That's like a no-no. You should never grab the brake when there isn't a wheel on. Come so on, are Shreddy. You... Oh, I was like, so are you yelling at yourself? Come on, Shreddy. What are you doing, dude? All right. All right, what's next? Flip the bike, right? Flip the bike, slap the, the wheel on. All right, rear brake. Oh, look at that rear rack. It's a nice, nice rack. Oh, rear rack. That is nice. Yeah. I think it said a child cool. seat can go back there too. On the a rear little rack. bit more forward, not touch my furniture. You got shook. Another shred has. Oh, that is the, <laughs> that is the new yeah. shred heads member. He's new. There oh, Matterhead, Shredheads member. Thank you. Matterhead, what's up, brother? Oh, so You Got Shook is buying memberships for people right now. Oh, thank you, You Got Shook. So Matterhead's now a member also. That is awesome. Oh, yeah, he said I donated five memberships but didn't want to shout it out. Oh, well. thank you, thank you. Well, thank you for shouting it out because sometimes it's hard to see, like, what's going on. Yeah. Oh, Dee, make sure you see, instead of, you're, watch, you're probably looking at top chat, make sure you switch it to all... Because sometimes we miss things that happen Sorry, guys. if we're just on the top chat. Was mm -hmm. stuck on the camera. We've gotten yelled at, like, you you haven't answered my comments. Like, oh. Yeah, sometimes we don't see oh, all the comments, so out. feel free to always like write them twice, too, if we don't get your comment. There it is. That's that plastic thing that was in there. Get out of there. Right. Okay, now I see on the computer, it does say you got shook, gifted five Shredding McScape memberships. That's awesome. Thank you so, so much. So he gifted Robbie Timms, Matterhead, Louie. Heck yeah. Loyalty makes oh. us family. Norbert Kovacs. Dude, that is awesome. Thank you so much for the support. We really do appreciate it so much. And with all the members too, all that, all that money, the member money, we're saving up for a van so we can travel. We don't want to be here this winter. We, we, we do not like winter anymore. We're getting too old for, for winter, guys. Should I put the, the fender on first or last? What do you guys think? Can they comment? Help me out. First. Help me out. Help me out, guys. Oh, uh, Bluno said thumb throttles are illegal in the UK. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. 100%. You know what? I'll do the wheels first and then, uh, and then the fender. Fender. Get it right in that caliper there. Breaking Rad has a legality question. Class two and three e-bikes were kicked off all trails in my state. But moped laws in my state are great. Only law is 50 cc or less. What e-moped should I consider? <laughs> Which ones are you looking at? What style are you looking for too? Oh, that is that why they told him to look at Spark? So 50 cc or less e-mopeds. So what brands are those? Hold up. You could look into the P51. That's a total, total legal. They actually built the P51 just to be a legal electric bike. And you can use code SHREDDY for P51 and it saves $150. Off a bike. See, with these quick releases, I'm not 1,000% sure. I always hear like different things on how tight they should be. But I know they, sh um, Feedy, which he helped me out with this, they, he said they should be on uh, the opposite side of the rotor and you should always kind of like click it up with the, with the fork. At least that's what I heard, but it might work this way too. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's in there. I got to adjust the brake. It, the caliper actually didn't close up, luckily. Uh, what state are you in where they banned the class two and class three e-bikes on trails? Yeah, that is kind of crazy. We're only allowed class two on, on the trails here though. We are, I, we're actually not allowed to go 28 miles an hour in Delaware. We're only limited to 20 miles an hour, but yeah, no. You know how we do it, guys. We follow the rules, we do. Uh, screwdriver. I'm taking a hard way. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
Questions, questions. Let's get into these comments. What, e should, what emo pet should they consider? Which which is he? Which ones is he looking at right now? There's so many different styles, you know. Like which have you reviewed? You could that you, you would could recommend? get a Aerial Rider Grizzly, the Bandit, the P51 Bullet. What else? Uh, the uh, Ride One Up Rev One, the C3 Strom. Now they're coming out with the C3 Strom with um, suspension on the rear. And um, yeah, that we have discount affiliate links for all the bikes he's talking about in this video's description down below under e-bike discount link. Oh, that goes in the back, right? Yeah. A little mystery to figure out. Why's that song stuck in my head? Carla says she wants the new e-bike that Tyson has, very retro. Oh, crap. It does go here. I haven't seen that. That's he tight. did have a Tyson Beckford. Electric motorbike from Lyric. <laughs> they actually cool. changed that one up now. It's going to be totally different. Oh, really? I yeah. want to see it. It's going to be a mid drive. Are we struggling? We're kind of struggling. A little struggle. Gibdo said, Shorty, if I pay for everything, will you and D house me for a week so I can chill? <laughs> I've been a member for a while. I went to high school with Shreddy. You did? Hold on. <laughs> What's your real name? <laughs> What's your real name? Robbie Tim said first. Uh, Matterhead said Shreddy World Tour. <laughs> yes. Robbie Tim said doing it last is always a regret. Yes, you always regret doing it last. Doing my last. Putting on the fender. Dude, it's not even screwing on for some reason. Like it came out. <laughs> but now it's not going in. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help. Help me. I do that, <laughs> Bang, <I got> it. <laughs> Hold on, uh, Gibdo, what's your real name? Robbie said, I mean, less works too. We went to school asshole. together? <laughs> I didn't go to high school though. I, went, I was in, in a school for bad kids. Breaking Rad said, I'm looking at a CTY2 as well. Do you have any comment on that? I've only ridden it once. It felt small to me, but I'm like almost six feet tall. Um. It was fast though. It was definitely really fast. Um, Breaking Rad said, I'm in New Mexico, only class one on trails and sidewalks now. Class two and three got kicked to the street. We're not allowed to ride on sidewalks here. Yeah, Denver. only if you're 12 years old, you can ride on the sidewalks. Dude, for some reason, I wish we were. that fender doesn't want to go on the way I want it on. It's not working. I'm struggling, guys. I'm starting to sweat now. It's definitely a struggle now. <laughs> Also said the headlight probably mounts with the fender bolt. Right there. Paul told me you're, you're probably right. <laughs> says, does the light go on the fender? That's what I'm looking at. Hold on. No, I see a little, there's something here. Looks like it might go here. We'll see. We're going to flip it up. And then maybe I'll look at the instruction manual. <laughs> <laughs> Gibson said, I was a grade below you, Shreddy, but you were the coolest dude, no cap. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, what school? <laughs> <laughs> you got shook, said L LMAO. <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot. I'm not allowed to cuss on this. <laughs> what? I'm not allowed to cuss Did on you this. You cussy? One. Don't say bad I words. I said LMAO, oh. LMFAO, the word. Oh. It's okay. It's just an unboxing. Let's leave that a little bit loose. <laughs> Can't wait to see the bike flipped over. I don't know why there's that, that, that. Oh my God, that song's still stuck in my head. That's gonna find something to talk about. It's probably gonna be stuck in your heads now. Like, I'm like, damn you, Shreddy. A little mystery to figure out. All right, don't change it, guys. Stay here with me. Sorry. Get in there, bruh. Robot. You guys know I'm left-handed, right? Okay. Fan of what? I'm left-handed. Oh. He's ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. I bat right-handed, but I shoot pool left-handed. So it's kind of like I'm all over the place. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to have to loosen up that rotor. I'm just going to stop this rotor from scraping. Everyone's talking about how beautiful New Mexico is. 
I've never been. Do you have you ever been? If we get a camper van, we can come. We'll, we'll definitely be going out there for sure. Get us a camper van. We're escaping <laughs> the cold for the winter. Um, Breaking Rad said, yeah, riding down the trail that runs next to the Boston Rio Grande was incredible. I'm going to miss riding it. Ice Scoot said he has family in Los Alamos or Los Alamos. 50s Cap said, I was a janitor at Shreddy School. Always had to plunge when Shreddy did business. <laughs> <laughs> there was like uh, a janitor at my school that was so cool. He used to chew on a toothpick. I thought that was the coolest thing. I don't know why. Robbie Timms, I skate regular, but I longboard goofy. Don't ask why or how. It is what it is. But you're not Mongo. <laughs> right? Ice Kid said, do you use left-handed scissors? No. No, I, I think I do right-handed scissors. Yep. Dude, I had it not scraping, bro. So what are you doing now? I'm just trying to stop this, uh, these calipers from rubbing. But sometimes if you do it like this, you can, the freaking rotor will slice you. Breaking Ride said, if we, if we road trip, I'll take you on the Breaking Bad and Stranger Things tour. Oh, that'd be awesome. That's so cool. All right, right there, right there. Stay right there. Oh. Right there, bro. Gibdo, I'm surprised you don't remember me, Shreddy. You invited me over all the time. Birthdays, too. <laughs> I'm getting trolled. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, bruh. I used to have a friend named Tim that used to call me Eddie Spaghetti with the meatball eyes, put them in the oven and make french fries. He used to always sing that song to me. I thought it was so sweet. <laughs> Like, man, you're such a good friend. You, you make up songs for me. All right. As it is right now, I'm happy. That's fine. It's not scraping as hard as it was before. Kim just said that was me. <laughs> you, are you Tim? Are you Tim? All right. So I need another tool. I need another tool to tighten this up all the way. Because for some reason this doesn't want to go. What's Walt's house? What's that? Breaking Rad said Walt's house is all gated in now, in now though, and the lady that owns it hates Taurus. Oh, I, I bet if we own like some famous dudes uh, or like a famous TV show house, like a Brady Bunch or something, and people are always coming by your house. Like, bro, come on. Um, let me get one more. Uh, I need like a screwdriver or something. He said they had to put up the gate because people kept throwing pizza on the roof. Oh my God, are you serious? That's great. I'm looking for more tools, guys. Maybe I'll just bring all my tools in because I don't have that many anyways, so. Oh, it's hard to get where it's at right now, though. It's, it's in there. Let's give them something. All right, I'll stop that. I'm dropping everything. I'm breaking everything. I'm dropping everything. I'm dropping and breaking everything. Almost back. Sorry guys. I was still talking. They could hear me. I was being a goofball. These are all my tools. Everything I own. I don't even know why there's freaking USB-C cables in there. But there is. All right, for now I'm gonna try to get this in. Oh my God. Influencer, influencer waved hi. Give just that I'm Tim bro. There are other people commenting stuff that I'm not reading about belly buttons. What? <laughs> I used to be a, a body piercer back back in the days. Mono Tourism said I only have 3600 saved up. What bike should I get? 3600? What style are you looking for? What's you going off road? You going on road? You staying staying on the roads the whole time? For some reason, guys, this thing is just not tightening up. It has like a uh, Phillips head little guy going on there, but I can't turn it because I'm weak. There we go. Uh, Monitorism said he wants to off-road kind of. Off-road, what do you think about the Bandit or the Grizzly? How heavy, or if you don't mind asking, how heavy are you? How tall are you? 
about a grizzly for off-roading. Yeah, for sure. Check out Shreddy's affiliate or discount link down below for the Arrow Rider Grizzly. He said 206 foot. That's how tall you are? No, 200 pounds and 6 oh. foot. Oh, <laughs> like what? 206 feet. Yeah, let me know what you think about the Arrow Rider Grizzly. Oh, he said he has the bandit already. Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> so you want something a little lighter or? What do you want different than the bandit uh, that you have now? I'm leaving that for now because for some reason it doesn't want to tighten. Breaking rat. Might be fenderless. Another bike I'm considering is the Ristretto 512, which looks nice. Have yeah, that bike it? looks very cool with the mid drive. It's like the Super 73 and Saren had a baby. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, fell on the front. Oh, there we go. What's going on? There we go. All right, let's not break stuff. One day, one day, guys, you'll see something stupid happen. Not today, not today. All right, so I was thinking the headlight maybe goes here, like that weird little spot. Although you are right, the, um, yeah, the plug is down here. Where does that light go? Let's, let's pull that out. Yeah, you're right. That's what the little, little connection here. Probably goes right here in the back. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. You're right. You guys are right. Let's see if I can even unscrew this. Uh, <laughs> This is the hardest screwdriver to use in the world. Any questions, comments, anything I can answer? You should wait for that P51 review to come out this weekend. I definitely had a fun, fun time with that bike and it got me up uh, some pretty crazy hills. It actually got me up the same hill that the Zoos 750 got me up that I was really impressed that it got me up. Evan said, have y'all seen the WAU Cyber? Wow, yeah, yeah, that thing looks cool. Hopefully I get to see it at the expo if it's there. I don't know if I stripped this, D. I might have stripped it. Luna said the headlight goes on the seat. <laughs> I'll try. I'll definitely give it a whirl. <laughs> We're getting trolled, Dave. We're getting trolled. <laughs> She's looking at it like, huh? I was like, maybe it does because it has a reflector. Icecute said, I think the WAU Cyber is all marketing, nothing special. That frame design has been around for a while. All right, let's see if I can unscrew it now. Yes. Yes. If you guys didn't know, I was like a, a screamer and a screamo band and I sang. So if you guys ever want to start a death metal band with Shreddy, Feel free to reach out. I'm looking to start a band. <laughs> I'm looking to join a band. Maybe a country band. My guess is it goes like this. And then it kind of bends. Primo. <laughs> Self checkout and clobber store stores bands. Hold up. On all music services. Oh, Don't music. check out Black Skies. It's my favorite. His voice is so good. <laughs> and he plays guitar. I should probably look at the instruction manual because I think I'm doing this wrong. Maybe it doesn't. Yes. No. My guess is like this. Like that? Does that look right to you guys? We should go there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Is that the first time the lights went that low? Um, I no, back? I think there's other bikes that have done this kind of almost same setup. Are you sure about that? Maybe you should look at the instruction manual. We're not giving up. Let's give them something to talk about. That's what I'm saying. Any questions? Any questions? Dipto said my seat's shaped like a eucalyptus leaf, mad uncomfortable. There used to be a, a TV show where the cartoons ate eucalyptus leaves. It was like a koala TV show back in the days. Anybody remember Eureka's Castle? Anybody? Dude, this hole's not 
is not working with me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I think I got it better this time. <laughs> hey. Also well, said, I think you need to flip the light and That's change weird. the bracket position. The reflector usually goes on the bottom. How about this? Yeah, I agree. With you. That, that felt weird. It has this like little foot there. Like maybe it goes like that. Like but ben that. Shapiro, I want to be in a death metal band. I play a mean tambourine. <laughs> I bet you're right. Shout out, Cap Gibdo said, shout out to all the Camp Laszlo viewers out there. You're the real ones. Camp Anawana. Do you need me to open the instruction pamphlet? Nah, man, I'm listening to Potama because he's the man. <laughs> That's why we do these. We do these to learn and from then you are guys. Can you tell us the specs? Yeah, I got all the specs in there. I know it's a 500 watt motor, 48 volt battery with 14.4 amp hours. <sighs> I want to tell you guys about the other bikes too in there. They have like a mid-drive version. All the different colors we have. This color is cool though, man. I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely digging the color for it's sure. Very impressive in person. Man, and thank you guys for hanging out on a late stream. It's actually 10 p.m. over here. It's it's 9.53, but man, I can't believe you guys are hanging out this late. We haven't even gotten the pedals on. The pedal? Let me get a sip of some agua. I'm thirsty. I'll answer some comments while I cool down a little bit. It starts getting sweaty with shreddy, for sure. <laughs> Any questions, guys? Guys, ask me a question. Any question. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be e-bike related. Ask, ask anything. I'm here to answer any questions. Is it going to be too tall for D? Hmm, we'll see. You know what? That seat looks like it goes Z, well. your freaking pants match whatever uh, oh, this yeah, color I is. Oh, yeah, match. So maybe you should show them if you fit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do match the bike, you guys. It actually matches my outfit perfectly. <sighs> there we go. But I have no shoes on. No zapatos. Zapatos. I'll try it in one second. Blue knows that it's 2.45 a.m. in the UK. What are you doing up so late, bruh? 50s Cap said shout out to shouting out. <laughs> shout out to the shout outs for sure. Do you guys like hanging out this late with us? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Get that spun around. So who's all going? Anybody going to the DC Electrify Expo or any of the Electrify Expos coming up? There's a lot of them I would like to make it out to for sure. There's a Miami one coming up soon. DC, DC. I'm gonna be at DC judging the e-bike contest. That was a struggle just for the fender. Come on. <laughs> Throw a thumbs up for that. All right, are we gonna struggle with the pedals? Once Eddie gets the pedals on and lowers the seat a little bit, I'll try it and let you guys know if it's good for short people. I am only 5'2". <laughs> um, Robbie Timms, do you play guitar or anything or just sing? I'm a guitarist and producer. Yes, I do. Actually, if you look up um, Self Checkout is the name of my old band. And the album's called Black Skies. We're on YouTube, uh, music, uh, like all the music um, platforms you can think of were on there. Just look up Black Skies is the album name, self-checkout band. And I am the singer for that band. And um, there's another band that I play guitar for is called Clobber Saurus and we're on all music services. C-L-O-B-B-E-R-S-A-U-R-U-S. So I played uh, the lead guitar for that band. Electric. Ice Cube said the lightning bolt on the cabinet's cool. Thank you, Amazon. Ooh. Check out Shreddy's Amazon. Here, just, I haven't even played this in like ages.
I made that up like when I was super young. Very, very long time ago. Can you sing for us too? <laughs> <laughs> I never came up with any lyrics for that and I don't think I'm that talented to actually sing and play that. Cause that's like too intricate for me to sing you along and play too. Breaking Rad, hell yeah, late night streams, FTW. <laughs> I have the right one on, yeah, right. R means right, right guys? Yes. There we go, now I got it in. iScoot said he's going to the New York Expo. I'm definitely gonna try to make that one. There's, probably, there's like a 95% chance we're gonna make that. But if you guys can make it to DC, I'm 100% gonna be there. 50s cap, I'm hanging out late because I dig your French fry lamp. <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone yeah. bust on my ah, Dude, I love that. I, he said it like an alien. I said it like, yeah, it looks like it'd be in like a, like an alien's house, like in outer <laughs> space somewhere. <laughs> French fry lamp. That's hilarious. That thing just went in my butt. I hurt. It went um, in your butt? <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> Hell yeah, uh, Robbie Tim's. Hell yeah, amazing band names. LOL. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and now we live in a beach town where all the bands are just all cover bands. But you know what? I'm I'm to the point where I don't even care. I would join a cover band to be in a band. But your songs are so good, you guys. You should listen to Self Checkout Black Skies. The music, all the songs. His voice is so good. The songs, the songs are so good. They're they're all like. No, they're not. Just no, kidding. he had he sings soft <laughs> in them, and and does a little screaming in some, but most of them it's like a soft what pop punk. It's really good. Yeah, the intro song for like all my videos, that's my band self checkout, and if I ever let it get to the singing part, that's me singing. But at the end of that song is where I do like a super death metal. Kind of sounds like the singer from Lamb of God, like. Oh um, yeah, his music's in his videos, guys, and all the e bike videos. Breaking Rad, I'm telling you, dude, Let Live is a band you got to check out, even if they don't exist anymore. Some of the best post-hardcore I've ever heard. Hell yeah. I'm down to check them out. You Got Shook said, very nice. Do you guys remember Remembering Never? <laughs> 50s Cap, bust some classical, shreddy, influencer, influencer, sounds nice. <laughs> Evan Fruge, did you ever get over Billy Ocean yet? No, hell no. I used to think that love was just a fairy tale. Hey, yeah, that's my, that's my ish. Until that first hello. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll sing that one later for you guys. Get this said, Shreddy, if you do all the guitar work and singing, I'll keep all the royalties. I think, I think that'd be fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I would love, I w just like writing my own songs for more like different intros of our, of our music videos and maybe get back to the cheesy music videos um, and just like write like little minute songs, you know what I mean? Like I could definitely just keep writing songs, but I need a studio, I need a studio. Did you guys like the cheesy music videos? I haven't done those in so long. I don't know if, if you guys even remember the cheesy music videos. 50s Cap, are you gonna hit up the ZUP Expo? There we go. What is a ZP Expo? I haven't heard ZP. of it. ZP, UP? ZUP. ZUP, no, I haven't heard of that one. Blue noise. Where is it? Blue nose. Just listen to it. Your voice is amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's so good. His voice is so good. I'm like, you could be famous for singing. <laughs> and <laughs> his, he, he plays the guitar good, too. Can you even tell that's me, though? Do I sound different singing than I do talking? Yes, I do. I don't know. Robbie Tim's bra. I'm the FOH engineer at a bar venue here, and 90% of the bands coming through are cover bands. With the same set list as the last cover band. Yeah. <laughs> For the love of music, please don't start a cover band. <laughs> but yo, they, these those guys get paid like crazy. It's crazy how much they get paid. It, it really is. I'm gonna lo lower this so maybe D can try to sit. I love Radiohead Gibdo. Breaking Brad. Oh man, guttural screams. Did I say that right? Guttural. Guttural screams. <laughs> <laughs> nice dude. I got into the style of screams listening to another old band, Fair to Midland. I can they do the high-pitched like, ones, but D doesn't want to hear that one. <laughs> they were like seafaring pirate metal, so good. 
pirate medal. I don't pirate medal is awesome. Hell like, yeah. You mean like a Jack Sparrow medal? <laughs> My friend Blind Matt, uh, Eagle Eyes Higgin, is is in a like pirate sounding band. I'll, I'll show you later. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, they sound pretty pirate. 50s Cap said, not much. What's up with you? It's kind of like, yo, ho, ho, in the battle of rum, 15 men on a dead man's chest. <laughs> Stuff like that. Like we dress like prostitute <laughs> to go see him? Yeah, pretty much. That'd be nice. <laughs> All right, so, sorry, what was that? Me? Yeah, what did he just say? You just read a comment. 50s. Oh, I was kidding. He, he said, not much. What's up with you? <laughs> the name of the show. What's up with... All right, let me go through, let me go through the specs and Indy will get on there. It is a pretty low seat. It is low as hell. It's a low seat. All right, all right. So, this is the small frame. Green. So what do we got? 500 watt motor. Like, and like I already said, it's a 48 volt, 14.4 amp hour battery. The top speed is rated at 20 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure you, you can, I, 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 haven't, I haven't read it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure you can get into the display and unlock that 20 miles an hour to go maybe 25 to 28 miles an hour. It's an estimated range of 65 to 70 miles. And of course, anytime they do those range estimates, it's probably at pedal assist one and you're pedaling pretty much the whole time. Uh, the weight of the bike is 32 kilograms. I don't know what that is in pounds. If you guys can help me out, um, that'd be great. Just comment down below. 500 watt high speed gear, uh, brushless hub motor. It, it is a torque sensor in there. So you guys remember the last uh, torque sensor e-bike I had, I definitely love. Well, I did have that 10 ways and then I had the Hovsco Hov Alpha that had the um, torque sensor. And I really loved uh, riding with the torque sensor. It makes you want to work out and it's actually pretty fun to mess with it. I don't know if you guys have ridden an e-bike with a torque sensor and a cadence sensor, what's your favorite one? Let me know. Uh, charger, uh, three and a half inch color display. It is app connected. Um, and that was the Urban Glide Pro, which I think, I'm thinking this is the standard because it only comes in a small frame. The Pro comes in a small and large frame. So let me, let me give you guys the specs Pretty nice for of the standard. one with the the mid drive, which is the uh, Urban Glide Ultra, uh, it's still rated at 500 watts, same battery, 14.4 amp hour battery, 690 watt hour, 48 volt, same thing, uh, 20 miles an hour all across the board for all three models, 65 to 70 mile estimated range all across the board again for all three models. Weight, 32 kilograms for the Ultra and the Pro, and the standard is 31 kilograms. Uh, motor for the mid-drive one, which is the Ultra, it's an M648 volt, 500 watt mid-drive motor with 95 newton meters of torque. There's no specs on the torques on the other uh, hub motors at all. And actually, I think I might have a speed sensor on a standard here because it says torque sensor for the Pro and the Ultra, Ultra, and then a speed sensor for the standard. So. That's gonna be, I'm pretty sure that's just a, a cadence sensor. 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery all across the board. They're all LG cells. Same thing, uh, actually the Pro and the Ultra, they come with four amp charger as opposed to the standard with a three amp charger. They all have the same display. And the other two models come with hydraulic disc brakes, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I didn't see that. Yeah, hydraulic brakes for the other ones. We got mechanical disc brakes on these, uh, hydraulic forks on it. But we're going to go through all that with all the reviews. Um, I, I know you guys want to see D get on it. Is there any questions before you try this out? Uh, there's a few comments. You want to okay. get them real quick? Yeah, let's get to them. Um, let's see. I'm going back. Evan Frouge, what do you think of Chokehold by Sleep Token? Chokehold? Is that like a band? <laughs> Can you send them to me, please? I remember Choking Victim from back in the days. I Scoot Connecticut. Any Goo Goo Doll fans? I'm seeing them in the fall. That's cool. I haven't been to like an actual good 
like a concert in a very long time. Any Beyonce fans? I'm seeing her tomorrow night. <laughs> David Cook, Shredhead member. Hi. What's up, David Cook? What's going on, brother? Thanks for joining. This is the Van Powers Urban Glide, the standard version. I don't know if you guys, if you were here for the Specs 500 watt motor, 48 volt, 14.4 amp hour battery. Top speed is about 20 miles an hour. And then we've got mechanical disc brakes as opposed to hydraulic. Robbie Tim, can you do fry screams the right way or do you blow your cords out every time? Uh, are you talking about the yeah, like that one? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I don't, don't want to do it like all the way because deal, deal freak out. But listen to my band and you'll, you'll hear me screaming. I feel, I feel like I like the guttural better because it sounds cooler. But like you kind of do need a little bit of contrast, like switching from the deep to the little bit of screams. I don't know if you guys know <laughs> the heavy music. You'll understand. You'll understand. Breaking rides. I listen to musical chairs by Fair to Midland. You'll flip out. They were so heavy with their time. Pokey Dog. What up, Shredded? Whoa. Shreddy? What's up, Pokey Dog? You guys should check out his channel if you guys are interested in Pokemon cards. I just kicked over my water bottle. I just want to show you this battery. It's actually pretty heavy duty and it's nice that they actually painted it like that too. That's like a Look nice glossy finish. Color. Yeah, that looks very nice. It the looks paint really has cool. like different dimensions in it. It's like That's what I'm saying. It looks almost green. iridescent, right? Yes. Like an iridescent feel to it. I love it. Very cool. Definitely get this color, guys. <laughs> it is pretty cool looking. Get the bike. And this is a small frame and it does say class two right there. So cops won't mess with you guys. Breaking rad. Actual class one, class two e-bike range isn't about the battery. It's about the legs of the rider. Um, did I tell you guys that I, I, the cops got pulled on me? Sorry, cops got called on me for doing wheelies out front of my neighborhood. Like seriously, um, there's a dart bus station nearby and they tried to say that I was actually doing wheelies in their parking lot and I wasn't. I had somebody... Uh, actually a neighbor was out there watching me do wheelies the whole time while she was watering her garden, having a good time cheering me on. Next thing you know, cops roll up. He's like, you know, were you in that parking lot doing wheelies? I was like, no, actually she was watching me do wheelies right here in front of my neighborhood. And he's like, okay, well, they called the cops on you. I said, it was three of you. I was like, no, it was just me and, Matt, and my boy Matt, the mechanic. We were just hanging out here, you know, not doing anything, just having a fun time. And then that's when you know, he asked for my name, where I live. I'm like, man, I live right here. This is my neighborhood. But is it legal for, like, I, I don't mind giving cops my information. And, like, I totally 100% always do what they say or whatever. But is it legal for them, for somebody to just call the cops on me and there's, there was no proof of me doing wheelies or anything in their parking lot? And, like, can the cops actually get all my information, like, legally? Because that's why I asked the cop. I'm like, am I legally, like, supposed to give you your, my name? Like, I'm going to give it to you anyways, but... Is, it, is there like a legality behind it? He's like, yeah, you have to tell me your name legally. Like, oh, okay. Um, but I don't know. You guys let me know. <laughs> I know that's weird. Robbie Tim, 70.55 pounds. Sorry, that might have been from an earlier question. Whoa. <laughs> let me see if we had comments relating to that. Oh. She's looking at the comments on the computer. Where'd my water go? Where'd my water? Oh, yeah. Influencer said, yep, standard. The mode you got is standard. Oh, mm -hmm. is Influencer Influencer Vampowers? Oh, I, I have no Think idea. The mode you got is standard. Influencer Influencer, are you from Vampowers? <laughs> um, Gibdo, D, if I was a ghost and started to launch you, would you exercise me? Oh, wait, yeah, wait, what was that? <laughs> 50s Cap said, I asked the pillow if D could ride the bike and the pointer slid over to yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the, um... <laughs> What is it called? <laughs> the pillow, guys. The pillow. Let, me, let me just turn on the display really quick. Just really quick. Make sure everything's working. It what says Digitech like? Riding Evolved. Oh, we're at 17% battery. We're low. I'm going to definitely... Yo, this is like third or fourth time I knocked that over. So that's the display. Let's go. How many settings? Two, three, four, five different settings. Oh, yeah. Influencer said, yep, it's me. I'm from Vampowers. Look at thank that. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So there, there's neutral. I'm thinking that the throttle doesn't work in neutral. So that's pretty cool. And again, check out that throttle. I love that throttle. That's really cool. So let's go into mode one. Does the throttle turn on? Yep. We got throttle. We got throttle. Am I running? Yep. I'm running. Oh, look, it's got a blinking red light. 
Nice. That's very cool. Very nice. And I think to turn on the headlight would be the up button, unless it's a walk mode. There you go. We're looking straight at the sky. There we go. That's nice bright headlight. Headlight. Let's see if holding down is a walking mode. Yep, that's a walking mode. If you hold the down button, if you're having a hard time walking your bike up, up a hill or whatever, you can hold the down button. It turns off your light and power it off. Let's see how D fits on this thing, guys. Dee Dee, we got the seat so low for you. I might have to extend the kickstand a little bit higher so it stands up like that. Oh yeah, he lowered the seat all Remember, the Remember, Dee, you can just step right through just like that. That's so awesome. Makes life so much easier. If you can't lift your legs up that high. I got you, Yeah, Dee. I don't know if I can do this, guys, but I'm gonna try it. And I match. I match the bike perfect. I got you, Dee. Step a your nice leg through. step through. I'm only 5'2". Oh my god, if she fits on his bike, we're going to make her ride I this. I fit! Oh. And it matches me. It's perfect. She's going to need her high, high. Uh, what do you call those? Platform shoes? Yeah. I'm just barefoot right now. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. And if, yeah, and if you're stopped, what, what some people do, they just... Is there a kickstand? Yeah, it's just low. i got to raise it up a little bit. Um, so some people do, if, if they're, sh like, they're shorter people, Sometimes when they stop, they just kind of like get off the bike like that. And then when they take off again, you step up on the pedal and kind of step back up on there. So different ways of riding. And, um, you know, with this style e-bike, I'm going to ride it pretty high up to where my knees are not fully extended, but like kind of all the way out just like that, just like a little bend. That way, you know, it's not uncomfortable while you're riding. Let's see. There we go. Heck yeah. So if you guys are interested in Van Powers, check out that link down below. If you're not, if Van Powers isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Uh, another yeah, shirthead member, Louie said, yo, he said, nice display on that bike. What's up, Louie? Thank you. Thank you. It does look really cool. I'm, I'm just like, so like loving that color though. I like the way it looks in the light, <laughs> the glossiness of it. It looks really dope. And I'm pretty sure Van Powers does have like a, um, some kind of generator or something, like a big generator that you can bring out camping. I think that'd be kind of cool. Maybe we just stick it on the back here, take it on a camping trip. Questions, guys? Questions? I'm going to be um, getting up early tomorrow. We're going to shoot uh, the review on this guy. Uh, then I'm not sure what day we're going to unbox the Segway products. We got the scooter. Then we, we got the uh, go-kart. I think the scooter goes like 50 miles an hour. Go-kart goes like 25. Um, we got Electrify Expo next Saturday and Sunday, right, D? Saturday and Sunday we'll be there at uh, DC. If you yes. guys are going to be there, make sure you come up and see me. Message me on Instagram. Let me know you're going to be there. And if you see me, if you guys ever see me on the streets, Feel free, come up to me, say what's up. There's been so many times people have seen me out, like, yo, Shorty, I saw you at the Wawa. A Wawa is like a, um, like a local gas station around here, Delaware, PA. I don't know where else they have Wawa's. Um, but they never they didn't come up to me and say what's up. So if you guys ever see me in public or like at an expo, come up, say what's up. Let's hang out. You guys shook said, awesome live stream, man. Really enjoyable. I appreciate you joining, brother. And thanks again for... All the uh, Shredhead members. Yes, thank you for donating the Shredhead members to the Shredhead members now. <laughs> I appreciate it. We really do. Louis said you have a Segway GT2. Yep, and it's the is it it's a Transformers one, and I think it's Optimus, not Optimus Prime. It's uh crap. Who's who's the bad one? The uh, from the um, Decepticons. Megatron. Megatron. Has she know before me? <laughs> and then we got the Bumblebee go kart too. So. And possibly I'll, I'll be at the New York Expo. If you're going to be at the New York Expo, that'd be awesome to see you guys there. But once I get closer to it, um, and I'm 100% sure, um, you guys will be the first to know. Any uh, questions? Startup members David Koch said, sweet. Uh, I see Connecticut turn it on. Gibdo, I listened to the compressed sound of cavemen banging rocks together. <laughs> Breaking red. That looks like PPG paint. PPG paint. We're going to have to look that up later. Electric rides, does it reflect headlights at night maybe? I wonder. Let me just see what it would look like if I did shine like a light at it. It 
looks so cool. Oh yeah, you can see the sparkles from the paint. That looks so neat. I don't know how that it's looks like on camera. Color. But definitely people are gonna see you riding this thing at nighttime and the daytime. <laughs> For sure. Evan Farouche said he just sent you a link to check out Sleep Token. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, Influencer Influencer said it auto reflects headlights at night. Oh, yes. I love that. Cool. I had no clue. That's so, awesome. So, yes. So, Van Power said it auto reflects headlights at night. Amazing. That is so cool. That I cannot awesome. wait to see that. Maybe I'll, I'll pop out there and uh, ride around the street to see if, what that looks like. That, that's so cool, guys. Yeah, you'll have to show that in your review video. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're going to do the review tomorrow. I'll shoot, I'll shoot some B-roll um, at nighttime showing the reflection of the e-bike. That's going to look cool, guys. Wow, that's so neat. I thought it looked glow in the dark when you opened it. Yeah, that, that is awesome. Hell, hell yeah, that's good to know. I'm glad you guys told me too because I'll be able to get some cool uh, footage of that. And then you have a backpack that matches that also reflects it the reflects, light. Reflects, yeah. The rider bag is going to look good you with Actually, let me Actually, let me grab that. Yeah, yeah. I do have this uh, rider bag that is like pretty much the same exact color. Matches the light. It reflects. I do have a link down below for rider bag. I think, I don't remember if it's a Coach Freddy for like 5% off your order or something. But, <laughs> what? What? And this reflects, so that's perfect, right? <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. I just want to look in it. Oh yeah, that it looks like it was made for it. <laughs> it matches like better in person than in the camera. Yeah, and then this, <laughs> this is a cover in case it's it same rains. Color in person. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. It's a little bit darker, but heck yeah. Any more questions or comments? There's a lot. We're going to get to them, guys. We're going to get to all your questions. So don't leave before we answer your question. We don't get to it. Ask again. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Short head members, Robbie Tins, unless you're detained, you, you have to consent to give your information. Detained does not mean arrested. David Cook, Short head member, cops feel like a box of chocolate. Hold on. What was that? That was the, the answer for the cop thing. What did he say? Unless, Robbie Tins, unless you're detained, you have to consent to give your information. I asked him if I was being detained, and he said no. David Cook, cops like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> he was actually really nice, like, you know, during the whole thing. But it just sucks, man. Like, anybody can just call the cops on anybody and at any time for anything. Oh. <laughs> for nothing, actually. Breaking Rad said, Delaware, you must present ID on request or you can be detained or arrested. You know what I gave him, actually? I gave him not even my full real name. Um, and I was like... Here's my, my card. I gave him my business card and he asked for my phone number. I'm like, it's on the business card. And then I, I try to sell him on, on some uh, e-bikes, <laughs> actually. Ice Cute So said, he might be watching right now. Ice Cute said, when I get pulled over on my e-bike, I tell them my name is The Inja. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll start doing that, like saying I'm other influencers. Like every time I get pulled over, it's a different name. <laughs> well, Ice Cute say, hi, uh, Van Powers, nice bikes. Oh, did they say anything about that, um, the charging station that I was talking about? What Van charging Powers? station? I think, I'm pretty sure Van Powers has like a big charging station battery that you can take camping or you could stick back here and strap on and take camping. Um, bringing right ass, does the bandit have a walking mode? Did he, did you, what? The what, hold on. The bandit have a walking mode? Not that I can remember, or I've never even tried it out, but I don't think the bandit does have a walking mode. Gibbo said, Shreddy, the only crime you committed was shredding so hard. Uh -huh. Like, damn, you're doing wheelies like too crazy. You can't be doing that. Okay, it's illegal. Van Power said, yes, th this bike has a walking mode. Yep, let me show you. I think I did show you guys earlier. This bike has a walking mode for sure. Um, turn it on. Digitech, Riding Evolved. I'll, have to, I'll hook it up to the app um, when I do the review. 50 said, any of these bikes you build ever just take off and ride up on your couch? Oh, actually, yeah. At the, um, oops, I have to take it out of neutral. When I built like that mini folding bike, I accidentally, I was, I, it was actually right bef after I told D, I was like, yeah, you gotta be careful. You know, with e-bikes, you think they're powered off, just don't hit the throttle. And I ended up hitting the throttle and it hit her leg. Remember I when I bruised your leg? And it ran. Yeah, I felt so bad. There you go. Yeah, you hold the down button, and boom, that's your walking mode. Very cool. I see. We have a Wawa in Connecticut. Oh, while well, we have Vampires in here, so this is locked down to 20 miles an hour. Is there a way 
because some states are allowed to go a little faster than 20. Is there a way to get into the display with a code or, or whatever we got to do and up the speed on this to go 25 or maybe a little bit faster? I've seen that um, on other bikes, so I think you could probably do this on that. Hold the plus. Okay, there we go. Uh, like Louie for the Segway Megatron Scooter Eddie put up a um, link to it for the Amazon Prime sale on his Instagram story. So check that out. Remember yep. Instagram straight up your feet. Yeah, things like for the scooter. Are you talking about the scooter? Yeah. It's like 800 bucks off right now for Amazon Prime Day. Prime Day. Don't forget, guys, I do have an Amazon link down below if you guys do click into it. Um, and anything you buy, I'll, I'll get credit and help support the channel. Oh, Frigo Bikes is also in the chat. Hello, Ed. Hey, How what's up, you? Frigo? How you doing? Heck yeah, they we got a lot of people nice hanging bike. out. Yeah. They said nice bike. Tell them what bike this is. This, the color is awesome. It's a Vampire's Urban Glide. This thing is really cool looking. I'm, I'm really digging the color because um, I just found out, because Vampire's is in the chat, that when uh, car headlights shine on this, it actually reflects. So that's pretty cool. I'd like to, I, I would love to see that on more like e-bikes or maybe I can get that spray paint and custom paint some bikes like that. And that's... Frigo or Vampowers, will you be at Electrify Expo in DC? Shreddy yep. will be there. I'm going to be at the DC Expo next week and then possibly there's a big chance I'll be at the New York Expo and uh, there's a chance I'll be at the Florida, is that Miami Expo coming up soon? And then Texas, Austin. Definitely gonna go to that one. I love the Texas Expo, it's fun. Yeah, Frigo said they love the color, and Van Power said it's about 70 pounds, easy to carry for camping. Yeah. Easy Duke. to carry, oh, yes, nice. Yeah. But, but uh, what did they say about the little battery you could put on there? I'm pretty sure I saw on their website a while back that they had some kind of like power station thing. Um, let me see. Dee's gonna look through the comments some more. She, she can see them better on the computer. She sometimes reads it through the um, iPhone. That's what we're using actually to do the streams. And I was thinking about doing a, um, a live stream ride because I just figured out the GoPro, you can actually hook your GoPro up to your phone and then somehow stream on YouTube like that. So I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, Electric Ride said, I'm assuming PAS Pass, pedal pass, assist. Oh, I'm assuming pedal assist only past 20 miles an hour. That's what uh, it's rated for, but I'm thinking you could probably juice it up a little bit more in the display, maybe get an extra five miles an hour. I'm not 100% sure um, if Van Power has answered that yet or not. 50s Cap said he would ride the bike to the Goo Goo Dolls show. <laughs> Everybody will see you, definitely. Ice Cube Connecticut Frigo, you should add that color to your bikes. Yeah, seriously. It's pretty dope. You got Shook Shredhead member. Oh, great, man. Didn't know about your Amazon link. I have to do I have to do buy a few more things off Amazon. I'll definitely use your link. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it, guys. Let's see. That's top. Let me just go to all in case we missed any comments. What is that, man? Let me see if that tightens up. Let me try to tighten that up. I don't see any more comments. Okay. Oh, that's loose. That's loose. Let's give them something to talk about. Right, is that stuck in your heads yet? Little mystery to figure out. <laughs> Are all the questions, have we answered all your questions? That's awesome. There was a lot of questions. We got through them. That, that was very cool, guys. Any more questions before we end the stream, guys? Don't forget, Urban Glide, if you guys are interested and want to support the channel, there's a link down below for the Van Powers Urban Glide. They have many other different e-bikes over there if you guys want to check them out. If Van Powers isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. Why, D? There might be bikes you like. <laughs> Any questions popping through? Uh, okay, we have a few more <laughs> comments now. Like a million. Sorry, and I cut off his head. Gibdo, uh, Shreddy, you get three genie wishes. What's your wishes and why? If I had three genie wishes, Special what size would... package of Vegemite. I don't know what that is. Oh, Vegemite is... Hold on. I remember Dana White ate something with that Vegemite. It's like a, either Australians love this stuff or something. It's like an Australian thing. It's like some kind of sauce. It's like a black sauce. I don't... And Dana White didn't like it, though, but like... People love it, wherever that's from. 
Ice Kid said Milk Wheel is the one with the camping inverter. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Milk Wheel, I thought that was a car. That's Moki. Oh. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of these little like gat or electric uh, golf cart car thingies. It's called the Moki, M-O-K-E. Some things look fun. If you guys want, to, want me to review it, definitely let me know. I could definitely find one and drive it around. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Electric rides Bonnie Raitt, Bonnie Raitt, Shreddy? Huh? Oh, is that a country singer? I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Kim just said, I have an innumerable amount of questions. We'd be here all week. So hold on, what was that? Three wishes, three. I'll give you three wishes. Hold on, three wishes. Is these cap with the nature of the universe? Any um, wish. Okay, let's see. I wish I could fly. I wish I had a... Um, Inf oh, Vampower said their Vampower's app is interesting. Have a try. Okay, for sure, for sure. I'm not going to do it live because I'm have to. i going to have to download the app onto the phone <laughs> that is recording me right now uh, that we're doing the stream for them. But for sure, I will show that on the review. I'm interested. Is that, again, is that somewhere where we could unlock this speed to get a little more speed on the Urban Glide? Make sure if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, I did say that like two minutes ago, there is a link down <laughs> below for Van Powers. All right, well, that's, that's gonna be the end of the stream. Thank you guys so much for the support and hanging out and for all the comments and talking amongst yourself. It's always a good time doing these live streams and unboxings and little, little struggles with you because you guys always help me out and uh, make me feel better about myself once I complete the task at hand that's now built. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing a review on this bad boy. Uh, P51 review video will be out tonight or early tomorrow for the Shredhead members. Uh, what else we got, Dave? What else we got? We got um, Segway, two Segways unboxings coming. There's an Angway we're unboxing soon that nobody heard about yet. I'm not supposed to talk about it or anything really. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, the Zoos stuff. is coming tomorrow. Uh, Ultraflex is coming tomorrow. Uh, Async is coming, I think, next week. Oh, there's there's so much I, I know, can't even you'll remember. You'll have tons of footage from Electrify Expo. Tons of footage for Electrify Expo. Hopefully, I see some of you guys over there at the DC Expo. There's supposed to be a ride the day before. Not sure okay. if I'll be able to make that. You're going to be a judge at the Electrify Expo. Yep, I'm going to be a judge for an e-bike uh, contest. So that's going to be pretty fun. I'll get to walk around and judge people's builds. That's going to be awesome. I've never done anything like that, so uh, it's pretty exciting. And I'll be trying out all the different e-bikes I haven't tried. Um, also, I think that this expo too, I'll probably focus a little bit more on other things in bikes. Maybe I'll hop in some cars and try those out. Maybe try some motorcycles. But if you guys uh, see anything at the expo that you want me to try out on the video, just comment them down in any of my uh, videos or even in this video or send me a message like, hey, uh, this brand's gonna be there with a booth. Make sure you go check them out because I'm interested and. I have these questions. If you guys have any questions for any of the brands that you want me to ask too, let me know. Comment down below. Always, always here to help you guys out. And you guys help me out big time a lot. Big time. Starstream said it's so cool. It yep. is an awesome bike. I love the color. All right, guys. That's going to be the end of the video. And as always, if you guys want to support the channel, check out all, all those links down below. Check out that link down below for the Van Powers. If Van Powers isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. And as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that. Oh, I didn't even put the notification bell on. <sighs> oh, there's the bell. <laughs> Finishing touches. <laughs> I'll just keep it on my thumb. And ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. Thanks a lot for joining. You guys rock and we'll see you very soon. We got a lot of work to do for you guys and we love you guys.